My name is Dan English. I am a Magenic Senior BI Consultant out of the Minneapolis office. Today we're going to look at SQL Server 2008 IntelliSense. This demonstration will be using the February 2008 CTP of SQL Server. And I'll be querying against the AdventureWorks database downloadable from CodePlex.com. Now as I'm typing, you can see that the drop-down list with the IntelliSense feature is available. And the other thing that you'll notice while I'm typing is you'll start seeing some red squigglies and down below in the error list you'll see some items being displayed. The red squigglies are some pre-validation that's going on. So prior to me even executing these statements, it is validating the completeness for them. And if I hover over them, you'll see that it says invalid column name, last name, and this is displayed also down below in the error list. If I double click on the item in the error list, it'll bring me to that exact spot in the query. And I can resolve the errors, and they will drop off the error list. The other thing that we get with IntelliSense is, within stored procedures, we can see some parameter information. So with this parameter, I, with the stored procedure, I can see that the parameter is manager ID of an integer. I type that in. It'll be validated, and I'll drop off my error list. Now if you have the IntelliSense turned off within the options here, text editor, if you don't want the list to be automatically displayed as you're typing, you can turn this off here, and then to enable it, you would have to use the control spacebar or control J. And the other item is the parameter information. If you don't want that displayed when you're doing stored procedures, you can turn that off here. Those are the only options that you have available as of right now. And that is all I have for you in regards to IntelliSense. I hope you enjoyed the overview of IntelliSense and SQL Server 2008, and I want to thank you for taking time to watch the screencast.